Are they never, ever, ever getting back together? Taylor Swift and both Honor Kennedy have officially parted ways, the source close to the bubbly singer confirmed to us weekly. The pair, who first sparked rumors of a summer romance in late July, have been growing apart in recent weeks and, according to the source, distance ultimately put a damper on the relationship. They quietly parted ways a while ago, the pal told the magazine. It was just a distance thing. No hard feelings. They're fine. Swift, 22, has made it no secret that she thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. A big fan of Ethel Kennedy and the entire Kennedy clan, but according to the source, work has kept her too busy for a serious relationship with Connor, 18. It's been over a month since they've even seen each other, the source continued. With her promotion for Red, she has no time off until the end of the year. According to recent reports, Swift was so in awe of the Kennedy clan that she sought matriarch Ethel's approval before dating Cogner. Taylor is enthralled with Ethel and has been for a long time. A uh, Kennedy thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Family source told the Daily News. When she and Cogner first got together over, Taylor couldn't have been more respectful. And the feeling was mutual. When asked about the possibility of welcoming Swift into the family in August, Ethel responded, We should be so lucky. Earlier this week, Swift debuted her new album, Red, chock full of songs about her past exes, a collection of Hollywood men that includes Joe Jonas, John Mayer and Jay Gyllenhaal. Not that Swift claims to be an expert in the relationship department. I don't know how thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. To have a normal relationship because I try to act normal and love from a normal place and live a normal life, but there is sort of an abnormal magnifying glass, like a telescope lens, on everything that happens between me and anybody else," she told Katie Cooter in an interview. Bearing Friday. I don't really know that much about love, it turns out.